Hey everybody, it's Paul Yokobetis from Cary State Planning back with another video as part of our 2020 video challenge. And today I wanted to talk about uh, detailed trusts, like how specific should a trust be? We're talking about rules and administrative provisions and distribution distribution provisions in the trust. Should you be layering in a lot of details and, and rigid requirements or should you be leaving it to the trustee's discretion uh, and being more general? Um, my take is that it should be as, as general as possible and as specific as possible, as is warranted by the circumstances. So for instance, sometimes we have uh, parents for kids who have specific objectives for uh, you know, monthly support or um, that specific you know, known and appreciated uh, uh, expenses or, or purchases be set out and, and be mandatory in the trust. Um, that's perfectly fine as long as you, you are okay with the potential downsides of that. Um, the rest of it though is, you know, we usually like to give the, the trustee discretion to anticipate what's going on and, and really realize the totality of the circumstances and figure out what's the appropriate use of those assets given the circumstances. Uh, and we do that through discretionary distributions of principal within health, education, uh, maintenance and support parameters. Um, so we don't have to say that a trustee can, you know, only spend $20,000 on a car, uh, the trustee could use their discretion to determine how much is appropriate for a car purchase given the circumstances. Uh, so it's generally better to be more broad, more general, and allow for the trustee that you're appointing to fill in the gaps and, and uh, use their discretion to, to uh, you know, fill in those holes or layer in the detail. But um, that being said, there's certainly uh, issues that are warranted to be specific about. Um, and, and so there's never a right answer to do this, but it's always important to think through the pros and cons of being specific versus general and, and how they may shape the overall outcome of your estate planning. This is Paul from Cary State Planning.